Who doesn't want this for $6? I do. If you want to see how this whole hair came together, hang around. Don't skip. Don't forward. Watch, share, comment, subscribe. Don't forget. Thank you all so much for the time that you take from your busy work to watch my video, to learn something from me. I learn a lot from YouTube and whatever I do, I share with you guys. You have to see, I have a video on how I achieved this hair. This hair cost me $6. I bought two packs of $4.99 braiding hair and I used a pack and a half. If you want to see how I did this curls by myself, you need to see my next video. Okay, sis, look at that hair, the waves in it. It is so beautiful. This is braiding hair. Look at that. I love, 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 love. So I used a larger curly wand for that. And I used these shorter or smaller curling wand for these so i'm probably going to put these on the top and then put the longer one in the back but it reminds me of the hair that i bought on uh, the ocean wave that i bought on amazon that i loved so much the authentic ocean wave i tried to put about 25 to say this is a bundle right so I put about 25 strands on there to see if that would be like a bundle. This is the edge control that I got. I just got this because Tate Pink uses it and I wanted to try it and so far so good. I bought this edge control because Tate Pink recommended it. She loves it and so I decided to try it and it just so happens that it works for me too. What if you buy it and it doesn't work for you? It doesn't mean the product is bad. You may be allergic to something, I may not be allergic to the same thing, you know what I mean? And so just because a product doesn't work for you doesn't mean that the person that recommended it um, tricked you or told you wrong. It just might mean that you respond differently to that product. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that there, there aren't people out there who are just recommending products just for the sake of coins. I mean, look at the makeup industry. Before we had so many companies making colors for us, before we had colors, we, we used whatever worked. You know, we used whatever was out there. The only, the only colored um, makeup company, really, that had my, um, something for us was like Fashion Fair and a little bit of Clinique and a little bit of Lancome. Really, that's about all I remember back in the day when I used to work in Macy's at the makeup counter. The only people that had colors for me was Lancome and Clinique and Fashion Fair. That's about it. A little bit of Estee Lauder and that's about it. And for sure, um, MAC had products for us, but I could never find my shade in MAC. I had to buy two foundations and I didn't want to do all that. But now that we have so many options, like, you know, other African companies and other black folks and collaborations and all these things, making colors for us, we have options. And so I think people have the right to change your mind. If you have options, you have the ability to change your mind because you try something else you're like oh i thought a was amazing come to find out b is even more amazing so when you watch these videos don't be so harsh you know be a little forgiving because we are all people and we have the right to change our minds I've seen people recommend something and the next thing you you see comments saying oh so whatever happened to blah 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 i thought you said so and so was better and now you change your mind. Well, why can't they change your mind? If you can change your mind, they should be able to change your mind too. Guys, it's fair, man. I'm not ranting. I'm just having a conversation with y'all. So this basically is like a variation of the bridge braid, you know? 
instead of the way that I put the braid down and then keep co coloring the hair back this time the hair is going over the bridge braid if I want I could crochet it through my bridge braid but I wanted to go over this time this as my braid going all the way back for my bottom ankle right here going to get to the second just because I don't know how much hair I'm going to have I'm gonna go ahead and do the bridge braid I'll fill it in a little bit if I have left over here the hair is not silky so I don't worry about it coming apart that is not an issue for me at all I just I was mm. twisting it e earlier and realized I don't even need to do that see not going anywhere. Look at this. Can you guys see why I love my bridge braid technique? Like, look. I could rock this if I wanted to. If, and I could get away with it. There is no hair here. But then having this bridge braid puts all this hair over it. So, even if I don't have enough hair, I can just sparsely fill the back, concentrate more of my hair on the front, and I'm good. We're gonna go from the back, this angle. Looking in the mirror and doing your hair is sometimes confusing. You can't figure out your left from your right. what I did. Here's what I did. You can kind of see this too. So if you wanted to cover that as well, you can put the crochet needle right here in the front of it, right? And bring it forward underneath the braid right here. Now you can use a smaller crochet needle if this one will not fit. So I got a needle, I got a crochet pin right there. I got a crochet pin right there, see that? I hope you saw what I did. And I'm going to put my hair through there. And this time, I'm just gonna do one loop because like I told you, this hair does not slip. I'm gonna do one loop and I'm just gonna pull. Don't go nowhere. So this time my my uh my braid is really covered. You can't see my braid at all. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. So I'm just gonna do it again so you guys can see. If you don't like your cornrow to show, 
you could use very small, small, small hair, smaller than this, and do what I just did if you have smaller braids, right? But if you don't mind, I have big hair, I like big hair, so I'm gonna use bigger strands, and I could start from the middle, it really, I don't think it matters where you start, so I can start from the middle, right here, middle of the braid, and go straight forward. Okay, I'm going to pull, I'm probably going to loop just once because this hair again does not, what, does not slip, it's not silky. So that's a braid coming right from the middle of my cornrow. Next, I'm going to make an X from here to this side, to the side, angled. Y'all taking all my tricks. <laughs> to the side. And I'm going to twist probably twice. Let me kill that. All right, so that's done the next one is from this side to this side angled how the hair falls is the front so I have one bundle left that I possibly could cook could uh, one bundle left that I possibly could put in the back and this is about all that I have left for the front <laughs> so I'm splitting it in two now see when I tied the hair around the chair around the cord on the chair it left this this curl part here. So I took my flat iron and it's on the very, very lowest. And to take that crinkly part out, I just press it on and it irons it out straight. This way when I crochet it in, I don't have that crinkly part poking. Now to give me bulk up here, I am making my knots longer. Y'all remember I was doing like two knots. This time I'm doing like five knots. One, two, three, four, five. And that makes the knot a little bit longer. You see the hair doesn't fall so flat. And yeah, putting more hair there will create bulk, but I don't have a lot of hair left, so. Okay, I'm probably gonna spend time shaping it tomorrow. I don't wanna mess with it tonight. Hola! So it's morning. Um, and I just released the hair. The only thing I'll say about the feel of the hair is it's very tangly. Like it can tangle so easy. That's how it feels. You know how I was saying that it's not slippery, and so you don't even have to knot it. Yeah, that same pro is a con because it's making the ends tangle quite easy.
have it guys all done this is my uh, quick go part I do a mixture of invisible and regular crochets make my own hair and put it in I did that I want to say thank you to all the um, people that inspired me to make my own crochet hair. Loveth Speaks. Thank you, Loveth Speaks. I've learned a lot from you. And then there was another one. I can't remember her name. I, I apologize if I remember. I will put it in the uh, video. But I want to say thanks to the two girls who inspired me to make my own crochet hair. It's beautiful. I love it. And I'm going to be rocking this, girl. See back here? See how full my hair is? You have no clue that I have empty spots, do you? See how full this hair is? Look. All this side is missing hair. It's missing hair. But I can wear this hair as is if I don't want to bother filling that part out which right now, I don't feel like filling it out. So nobody can see that I don't have no hair back there. I just have hair down here, up here, over the bridge braid, and nobody knows. So make sure you hit this notification and put notification for all so that every video I put out, you will be the first to know. All right, talk to you guys later, bye.